On the surface, we are still and quiet. But there is a struggle in the darkness below. The outcome? Unpredictable. Away with you, ghost. You'll scare away the fish. I remember you not, and care not to, even if I could. I offer you nothing, but you remain. I can give you a name, if that would help. Some have called me Jonas. There are other names, but they will not speak themselves. One is enough, I think. Only those who seek misery would ask such a thing. You should banish your misery like I have banished mine. If you do not, only terrible things can come of it. I do not see a hole in your head. Perhaps a hole in your mind. The stones to the north are useful to fill such holes. You can read them if you can find them. Replace your ghost with others. Stones have nothing but irrelevant answers to forgotten questions. You will not find truth here. In memory of Sol Warren Ramanos Avila, bearer of the Eternal Torch, who served as straddled centuries. All souls fade in time, but he held steadfast against the darkness until the last. May his sacrifice be a lesson to all who come after. In memory of Soul Warden Christina Krempel, whose gaze never wavered. Her pursuit of humanity's best nature, her defiance of darkness, and her calm wisdom kept the flame of our hopes burning until the last. May her sacrifice be a lesson to all who come after.
This place is familiar. My feet remember what my mind does not. Have you found any new voices, hunted one? Ah, what were they? My mind itches. Yes, at that word. Perhaps this is where my ghost lives. That cave. Yes, inside it. Something that needs retrieving. Ghosts are loud here. This place remembers sorrow. My bones ah, rattled with it. You went into the cave. What did you find? What does anything do in a bear cave? Perhaps it was napping. Yet there is pain in the rent cloth. Shame, too. How odd. The voice of that ghost has faded, but there are yet others in the stones to the north. Go. I won't be long behind. In memory of Soul Warden Ray's Vita, devoted servant of the Order, he took no pride, no ambition in our sacred duty. All that was asked and much that was not, he gave willingly. By his example did others embrace our greater purpose. May his sacrifice be a lesson to all who come after. In memory of Soul Warden Constanza Soberia, who gave all that was to be given. May her sacrifice be a lesson for those who come after.
I hear my own voice, faint, but in chorus with the ghosts. My hands on the stone, my memories, given to the land and taken from my soul. A mercy, perhaps. It was corruption. It took their souls, those voices lost to time. It will take all of us before the sun sets on the world. You, sooner. If your voice cannot be silenced. But there are answers here. A path that leads where many have sought to go. Those who would stand against the corruption. You speak of that voice that assaults your mind. This path may be the only way to see it silenced. A valiant effort to stem the tide, perhaps, or more likely to simply take a stand against the inevitable. There are no final answers here, nor anywhere, but it may yet be a reprieve for one who has been marked such as you. The voice you hear is not heard by all, and the power it pursues has become your burden to bear. Go on, then. Seek the strength of the soul wardens. Face the trial in the tomb of old warriors. It may be your only hope. Gilgamesh, do solemnly bow under the radiance of the sun and the luminescence of the stars in the presence of the gods to serve as an Amara, the blessed inheritor of the eternal fire. I vow to be both noble and true, to heed the divine voice, and to aid my people against all hardships and foes. I also swear on my bonded soul to ease the world's pain and to fulfill my sworn obligations regardless of the price.
And I am impressed. We will make history together. I give my breath to the winds, my strength to the lands, and my spirit to the firmament, that it rain down into the blessed earth and the depths of the waters to seal my oath for all time and for all those who would follow me in my path. Well, imagine the kinds of people you run into on the roads around. But you're looking a little haggard, if you don't mind me saying so. Had an eventful journey, have you? Thought I heard scuffling in those ruins. I was thinking there might be some treasure in there. But you don't look like you found something. You look like you're still searching. Now that you mention it, there was an old codger a few paces back. They've got a proper city that direction. I'll be going back soon enough. But if you want to go after this geezer, go that way and just ask around town. Welcome to Oxborough, traveler. I hope you've brought coin to spend and goods to trade. We're always open for whatever services you seek, you will find in Oxborough. I guarantee you that. All types for hire. Uh, what manner of person do you seek? I have to say, it is a very specific person, and frankly, one that no one has ever asked for. You're the first. But I did see him not long ago. He's quite, uh, balmy, you know? And I'm not sure if he's for hire. Constable Messia often humors him with conversation. Ask her about him. Ah, always good to welcome a guest to Oxborough, and one who appears to have means. <laughs> the signs are auspicious today, you know. Whatever you came to our fair city looking for, I'm happy to help. You've only to ask. You're looking for Jonas, really? That is a rather outlandish notion. Are you a long-lost relative? Caretaker? Uh, he's quite far gone, I'm sorry to say. Comes through town now and then, often raving about corrupted. I've asked him to bring his concerns to me, to avoid worrying anyone, of course. <laughs> In Oxborough? Don't be absurd. This city was founded by the Roman Legion centuries ago, including yours truly and my valiant husband, 
Centurion Mesha. In all this time, the city has never fallen. Jonas means well, but his fears are unfounded. That said, I don't know where he is. Ask Atticus at the inn, he'll know. Welcome to the Autumn Rest. Always a colorful place to be. You're here to check in? Be my guest. <laughs> if you're here to request a ballad dedicated to your family's glory, you'll have to get in line. Half of Oxborough was acting on that crate. Or perhaps you're looking for something a little more nuanced. Do tell. Oh. You're a friend of Jonas. How marvelously charming. I always worry after him. Quite lonely, the old man, but he likes it that way. Oh, I've offered to let him stay in my proprietor's guest suite, but he prefers his little hut on the pond north of the city. You'll find him there. Good luck. ask you to walk softly, but the fish are already wise to me. Travel on, Strip. Ah, but you are familiar. Two voices, one mind. Uh, yes, we've spoken before. What brings you to my hover? Oh, did I abandon you or did I just walk ahead? I walk a great deal, you know, and sometimes my memories stay behind. I recall a path you started to follow, but it was one I've already trodden. Me, a soul warden? <laughs> no, that could not be. It is such a pretentious sounding name, and the soul wardens are all gone, lost. Corrupted, who knows? There is a tower not far. Go get your answers there, for I have none left. Mm -hmm. 